Hi, my name is Kim Jin Lu. People call me Kin in short, and I am the face behind Lu's Handicrafts. So all this while, I have just been talking behind the lens in my tutorial, but uh, they say there's a first time for everything. So here I am, right in front of my camera for the very first time on my channel and hoping that we would connect even better from now on. If you're following my channel, I'm sure you know that I've been working with crochet, knitting, other DIYs, and handicraft stuff. Well, today I wanted to take you along a humble journey where crochet led me to work with a glass studio called Glass Sutra, who then participated in India Design 2020. India Design is one of the largest platform for all designers to showcase their work and get recognition in a higher standard. So it is such an honor to be able to participate in such a big platform through Studio Glass Sutra, which is also India's first glass art studio. We've been doing this since last two years and I'm absolutely blown away by what we could create with absolutely two different materials that is glass and yarn bent and shaped into our own terms to create something so delicate, beautifully crafted installation. Reshmi Day, the founder of Glass Sutra, is such an inspiration and a great mentor who, with her deep love and passion for art and craft has made all of this possible. I'm so blessed to be working with her. Anyway, I'm so excited to be sharing this with you. So without further ado, here we go. Last year's work, when we first started, we had little experience with glass and yarns working together though it came through quite well. But over time we got better. This time the concept was a little different. A metal dome was created to support the crochet canopy which made it much easier to work with. I would crochet hexagons because it has a better angle for connecting. and I'm going to talk about today one of the very beautiful pieces which you have done with crochet and glass mainly it's a yarn and glass and we did this piece with Kim Jin Lu the young lady from the Lu Handicrafts so um, here we are going to talk about this piece its name is Amofoa Amofoa is a Basque word of Amophosis that's an English word it is means um, it's a fluid shapeless formless like that so because yarn and glass both are shapeless and form formless till you work with it and create something so here our challenge was how we can marry them together and at the same time create a balance between the two and in a harmony uh, and a harmony actually to create a harmony so the lighting installation gone into with the glass textured with the with a crochet and kin has over the time created these crochet pieces for us and we are very happy to work with her on this. Um, you see there is a line which we chat with when we told her to do that she was shocked that what am I going to do with that? I said you have to do a bubble with this crochet lines and also then we can capture it on the glass piece also. So we so see show the similarities we can capture in both. And then rest of the thing is going on. You can see the beautiful piece which has come up and 
that's all I can talk about it, you know. And thanks, Kenjin and Kenyan Lu, uh, Lu Handicrafts. And I'm signing off saying that wish me day from Studio Glass Sutra. about glass sutra and glasses you can find them on instagram and facebook at this given uh, names well one thing that i have learned through this exhibition is that art and creativity is not limited to only one or two materials with which we are so used to working but there's a whole lot of ideas out there waiting to be discovered by incorporating, twisting, experimenting, and mixing different components. Which is why I'm also pursuing a short course on fashion design so that the ideas gained from it will help me to come up with uh, new designs and patterns for crochet, knit, and other DIYs for you guys in the future. With your love and support, I'll do my best to give out one great content for you each week so that you might learn something from it or you might get a new perspective. If you're new and your area of interest is similar to what I share, then consider subscribing to my channel. Even if my channel is new and it's only beginning to grow, thank you so much you guys for your tremendous support. It's been amazing and I love you all so, so much. Well, I'm just beginning, so I hope we all can grow together. Please do feel free to give your views and opinions, suggestions, and other questions in the comment section below. Also, you can find me on social media platforms, Pinterest, Facebook, and Instagram. Thank you so much for watching till the end. I love you guys so much, and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye. God bless you.